What's going on, gas heads, and welcome back to another video on the channel. Welcome back to the Talking Gas podcast. I hope everyone is doing well. I'm sure you are after finally seeing that we've appointed a new manager. Of course, Matt Taylor is now the new manager of Rovers. Of course, let me know all your thoughts in the comments below. Leave a like, subscribe, keep up the quality support as always. And yeah, finally a new manager. They, you know, they decided to do it one day after the five-week anniversary of Barton sacking. But yeah, it's been a long, long five weeks. Um, finally, we've got some clarity and we've actually got um, Taylor. Uh, you know, uh, it's going to be interesting to see what everyone thinks. A lot of what I've seen, obviously, doing stuff on the channel and just looking around, I think most people will be happy with this. Um, of course, most people, if you don't know him, he was manager of Rotherham very recently. You know, within the last two weeks, he was sacked. My first choice was Nathan Jones, um, even though that was the unrealistic option. That's who I wanted personally. But then, of course, it was Robinson. You had Monk. There's been so many different managers that we've interviewed. But, yeah, for me, when I seen that he got sacked at Rotherham, and, you know, I know how well he done at Exeter, especially, you got to remember, he was on a very small budget at Exeter. Obviously, he was there as an academy manager, so that's another thing that I like. Um... Hopefully Rovers can keep producing more players and they can get more chances with young players and hopefully we can sort out the under 23s because I think that's massive and that's one massive part that I like uh, about Matt Taylor. Also his attacking style we've seen at Exeter in most recent years, of obviously the League 2 promotion season when they come up with us, you know, played brilliant football, sort of goes all out. I know it was different at Rotherham you know a lot of Rotherham fans said his football was poor but it's I was sort of surprised anyway that Taylor went to Rotherham because of the way he his style is and the way he played at Exeter I thought he would have went with a more attacking team obviously he wanted to try something different obviously after doing so well with Exeter continuously building you know gradually so yeah for me I'm really liking the appointment um, hopefully he can get us, you know, winning games consistently and trying to be a consistent team. Obviously, you've seen by the, you know, our results this season with six wins, six draws, and six losses. We need to find that consistency, and I'm just so glad we've got a, you know, a proper manager that's learnt his trade at a, you know, a lower level um, and going into the, the the youth setup at exit, and then you know he's been. This is now is what going into his sixth year. Of management, obviously, with four years at Exeter, a year at Rotherham. Um, so, yeah, hopefully, he can do really well. Like I said, I really like the way he comes across his style of play. It's going to be interesting to see as well what he does with the lineup because at Exeter, it was mainly a 3 4 sort of 1 2. And obviously, a lot of people will be saying about Giovanni Brown because obviously, Giovanni Brown was with Matt Taylor. Matt Taylor brought him to Exeter. So, yeah, hopefully he can, you know, sort of, you know, bring him in and, you know, work well with him. And it's going to be interesting to see what he does with a lot of players. I think there's going to be a big shake-up in the summer with a lot of players being out of contract, of course, with a lot of players on loan currently. But, yeah, hopefully he does well. He's got my back in. Really hoping he does well within the, the three and a half years. Hopefully he can, like I said, just get us winning games and, yeah, bring us that style of play that, I really like and a lot of fans will really like so yeah want to wish him all the best like I said uh, as well all the best to Mangan um, he's done brilliant with his time as assistant and of course the caretaker role and he will be leaving so all the best to Mangan and his family obviously always welcome back and but yeah new era now with Taylor obviously you got the stand nearly done as well so hopefully now there's going to be some more um, uplift more positivity I think this, uh, you know, manager signing will get more fans on board as well because obviously I know a lot of them um, were sort of angry with Barton and, you know, things off the pitch. So now hopefully on and off the pitch it can look a lot more positive. So, yeah, for me, I'm really happy. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Leave a like, subscribe, and, yeah, all the best to Matt Taylor during his time at the gas. Up the gas. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.